Hello, my name is Graham Lewis and in this short video we're going to show how we can fit a rational function through two points and we can do that algebraically. So imagine we've got the two points 2, 10, 3, 5 here and here and we want to fit a rational function something of the family 1 over x through that. Well we know 1 over x looks like that roughly so it's very feasible that we could get a rational function going through those two points. So Firstly, I tried on Desmos by fitting sliders and to see if I could do it that way. Now you can see here's the free package Desmos and I've entered the equation y equals ax over b so I've created these sliders and I can move these sliders around and see if I can get it through. So it looks like it's going through the point there but I'm not really sure if it is and then I can move this one around but then I've missed that and I'm going through that so it's actually quite tricky to get it through both of the points. So I was wondering is there an outbreak way we can approach this? So here we are, we've got y equals a over x plus b, and I know it goes through 2, 10 and 3, 5. So because I've got two unknowns, a and b, and I've got two points, I should be able to set up a pair of simultaneous equations and solve them to work out what a and b are, and then I'll get my function. So let's try that. Well, 2, 10 means clearly that when x is 2, y equals 10. So let's sub that into my equation, which I'll call star there. So when I put uh, y is 10 in, I get a 10 equals an a over x is 2, plus b, and I've got equation 1 there. Let's do the same, clearly here, when x is 3, y is 5, let's pop that back into star again, so it's 5 equals a over 3, plus a b, and I'll call that equation 2. So now I've got my two simultaneous equations, so if I just bring them over here, and now we can solve these two. So, um, a nice way, notice that the b's are the same, so if I subtract these equations, uh, the b's will disappear. They'll be eliminated, hence the method of elimination. So I'm going to do 1 take away 2 because it will give me positive numbers and that's nicer. So if I do 1 take away 2, I've got 10 take away 5, which is clearly 5. And then I've got a over 2 take away a over 3. need a bit of work to do on that. And I've got b minus b, which obviously gets eliminated, which is what I wanted. So now let's move on. So I've got a 5 equals, that's factor an a out here, I've got a half minus a third, which is obviously 1 sixth, because a half is 3 sixths and a third is 2 sixths, so I've got 1 sixth there. So I've got 5 equals 1 sixth of a, or a over 6. And then a must be, just multiplying both sides by 6, a must be 30. So to find b, we need to pop it back into our starred equation, which was a over x plus b, no sorry, equation 1, sorry there. So I'll put it into equation 1. So let's just copy down equation 1. It was 10 equals a over 2 plus b. I'll call that equation 1, of course. Let's put 30 in there. So 10 equals 30 over 2 plus b. So 10 is 15 plus b. And subtracting 15 from both sides gives me b is minus 5. So I've got my final equation, which is y equals a was 30 over x and then b is minus 5. And we can check this in Desmos to see if it actually does go through our two points. Okay, so I'm going to enter that equation into Desmos. So y equals 30 divided by x, and then I'm going to minus 5. And if we've done our algebra right, we can see it goes through the two points. Let's just move me away there. And there you can see it beautifully passing through the first point, 210, and the second point there, which was uh, 3 something, wasn't it? whatever it was. Okay, so thanks you for watching. If you like this video, please uh, watch some of my other ones. I hope this helped. Thank you.